Welcome to Bedtime Stories. Today we're going to read Pizza Cat and Other Pumpkins by James Dean. Thank you for like subscribing. Five little pumpkins sitting on a gate. One said, Oh my, it's getting late. Second one said, There are witches in the air. Third one said, but we don't care. Fourth one said, let's run and run and run. Fifth one said, I'm ready for some fun. Who who went the wind? And out went the lights. And five little pumpkins rolled out the sign. Happy Halloween! Welcome to Bedtime Stories. Today we are going to read Pete the Cat and the Surprise Teacher by James Dean. Thank you for liking and subscribing. Pete is ready for school. Where is mom? As Pete she has a surprise for you, says Pete's dad. Pete goes to school. His mom is there. What a surprise! Hi, class. I'm Mrs. Cat, says Pete's mom. I am a substitute teacher. I will need your help today, says Pete's mom. What do we do first? Art, says Pete. Yeah, says the class. The class lines up. Pete's mom leads the line. Is this art? Asked Pete's mom. Boing, this is not art, says the gym. This is gym. Stay to play, says the gym teacher. The class plays gym. It's fun. With more kids, Pete says. Gym is over, Pete's mom takes the class to art. La la la. This is not art. This is music. Stay and sing, says the music teacher. The class sings, we are louder with more kids, Pete says. Rumble, Pete is hungry, time for lunch. This is not lunch room. This is the playground, let's have a picnic, says Pete. Now it is time for art, says Pete's mom. Everyone cheers. Pete leads the class. It's this art, as Pete's mom. It is. Lots of kids are making art. Oh no, says the art teacher. It is too late to join us. The day is almost over. The class goes to the classroom. I know, says Pete. Let's make art here, he says. Okay, says Pete's mom. Pete calls a humble whisper, whisper. The class sings a surprise. He draws. Callie makes a paper cat. Everyone helps. Surprise, says Pete. The class made art for Pete's mom. Thank you, Mrs. Cat, says the class. We had a great day with you. Something, sometimes a 
different day is an awesome day. Look at the bedtime story. Sleepy and repeat the cat falling for autumn by Kimberly and James Dean. Thank you for like subscribing. It is the first day of fall, and Pete the cat is feeling blue. I like summer better, he says. In summer, I can swim and surf and play at the beach. Maybe you just need to remind yourself all the things you love about Adam, Mom. Struggles. Hmm. Let's be. I'll try. Pete finds Grandma in the kitchen. She is breaking delicious pumpkin pies. The whole house smells sweet and spicy. Pete loves helping Grandma bake pumpkin pie, but he loves helping eat it even more. After the baking is done, he picks a squared orange pumpkin from the cupboard. He slips into his backpack for his summer. The next, Pete heads to the town corner maze. Pete and his friends wander through the long, twisty path made of tall corn stacks. The best part of the corn maze is getting lost and having to start over again. As the leaves he picks a golden corn cob from the maze and puts it inside his backpack. Then Pete visits Grandpa, who is knitting in his pouch. Grandma helps. Pete used his knitting needles to knit the yarn into the cool patterns. Together, Pete and Grandma make a long, cozy scarf for Pete to wear. When they are done, Pete chooses a little ball of leftover yarn and places in his backpack. Next, Pete goes to the hay yard. At the hay park, Pete, Bob, Mom, and Dad, and Grandpa all pile the wagon filled with the hay. They go on a bumpy wagon ride around the park. Whee! Oh, it's up, Pete. At the end of the ride, Pete grabs a handful of some sweet smelling hay from the wagon and stuffs it into his backpack. Pete heads over to the apple orchard, where he and Kelly go apple picking. They eat sweet apple and donuts and drink hot apple cider and fill their buckets with apples of all different shapes and sizes. Before he leaves, Pete chooses a round red apple and drops it into his backpack. Nick P stops by the park. He plays touch football with Bob and their friends. Pete covers the touchdown and everyone cheers. After the game, Pete grabs Bob's football and stuffs it into his backpack. 
It barely fits. Bob would mind if I borrow this pizza's. Finally, Pete heads back home, but he stops in the sun yard, which is covered with in bright leaves falling down the trees. Pete helps that rake the leaves into a careful mountain. Then Pete runs and jumps into all the leaves piles. After he's done jumping, Pete picks a bunch of red, golden, and orange leaves and stuffs it into his backpack. Pete Blackhawk is busking with all servers. He can't wait to show Mom. I love autumn, says Pete says. Wonderful, says Mom. You know, these would make great delicious for Thanksgiving. So Pete helps Mom fill a basket with all his meat and place a basket at the set table. It's beautiful, says Dad. Is what that my football? As Bob just then, the door bell rings. The Thanksgiving guests are here. All the Pete's families and friends gather around the dining room table. They tell stories and laugh at jokes while they eat. Everyone is having a great time. Pete looking around the table. He smiles. He loves lots of things about autumn, but Pete knows what he loves most all year long. His family and friends. Welcome to Bedtime Stories. Today we're going to read Pete the Cat and the Missing Cupcakes by Kimberly and James Dean. Thank you for liking and subscribing. Pete and Gus were as busy as could be. They were getting ready for the cupcake party. It started at three. They were making cupcakes for everyone. Pete and Gus cut the just for fun. They had ten when they were done. Oh no! Hang on, some of the cupcakes were gone. There were sure there had been ten. Pete said, maybe we need to count again. They counted the cupcakes lined up straight. Now there were only eight. It looked like someone had taken two, but who? Pete and Gus did not know what to do. Just then, they found a clue. Gus said, look what I found. Sprinkled on the ground. I bet it's a squirrel. She loves sprinkles. Squirrel said, it wasn't me. It couldn't be. I have been at the spelling bee. Oh, no. oh, more cupcakes are missing. Come and see. This was too weird. Two more cupcakes had disappeared. Now there were only six. Someone must be playing tricks. But who? Pete and Gus did not know what to do. Just then, they found another clue. Pete 
Pete said, I bet it was alligator. He loves to eat. Alligator said, it wasn't me. It couldn't be. I've been learning my ABCs. Oh, oh, more cupcakes are missing. Come and see. Now there were only four. Someone had taken two more. But who? Pete and Gus did not know what to do. Just then, they found another clue. I bet it was Turtle, said Pete. I know Turtle loves sweets. Turtle said, it wasn't me. It couldn't be. I've been swimming at the sea. Uh-oh, more cupcakes are missing. Come and see. What on earth was going on? All the cupcakes were now gone. Pete and Gus did not know what to do. They started looking for another clue. They found Grumpy Toad with icing on his face. Pete and Gus had solved the case. I'm so sorry. It was me. I could not stop with one. I ate and ate until there were none. Everyone agreed. Grumpy Toad would have to not miss the fun. He could not come after what he had done. Pete said, but wait, Grumpy Toad made a mistake. This is true, let's give another chance. That's what friends do. Pete told Grumpy Toad they would give him another chance. He was so excited, he did the happy dance. The night of the party was so much fun. Grumpy Toad brought more than enough cupcakes for everyone. Look at the bedtime story. Sammy and repeat the cat falling for autumn by Kimberly and James Dean. Thank you for like subscribing. It is the first day of fall, and Pete the cat is feeling blue. I like summer better, he says. In summer, I can swim and surf and play at the beach. Maybe you just need to remind yourself all the things you love about Adam, Mom struggles. Hmm, let's be I'll try. Pete finds Grandma in the kitchen. She is breaking delicious pumpkin pies. The whole house smells sweet and spicy. Pete loves helping Grandma bake pumpkin pie, but he loves helping eat it even more. After the baking is done, he picks a squared orange pumpkin from the cover. He slips into his backpack for his summer. The next Pete heads to the town corner maze. Pete and his friends wonder through the long twisty path made of tall corn stacks. The best part of the corn maze is getting lost and having to start over again. As the leaves, Pete picks a golden carp 
corn cob from the maze and this is inside his backpack. Then Pete visits Grandpa, who is knitting in his pouch. Grandma helps Pete use his knitting needles to knit the yarn into the cool patterns. Together, Pete and Grandma make a long, cozy scarf for Pete to wear. When they are done, Pete chooses a little ball of leftover yarn and places in his backpack. Next, Pete goes to the hay yard. At the hay park, Pete, Bob, Mom, and Dad, and Grandpa all pile the wagon filled with the hay. They go on a bumpy wagon ride around the park. Whee! What's up, Pete? At the end of the ride, Pete grabs a handful of some sweet smelling hay from the wagon and stuffs it into his backpack. Pete heads over to the apple orchard where he and Callie go apple picking. They eat sweet apple and donuts and drink hot apple cider and fill their buckets with apples of all different shapes and sizes. Before he leaves, Pete chooses a round red apple and drops it into his backpack. Next, Pete stops by the park. He plays touch football with Bob and their friends. Pete covers the touchdown and Everyone cheers. After the game, Pete grabs Bob's football and stuffs it into his backpack. It barely fits. Bob won't mind if I borrow this, Pete says. Finally, Pete heads back home, but he stops in the sun yard, which is covered with in bright leaves falling down the trees. Pete helps Dad rake the leaves into a careful mountain. Then Pete runs and jumps into all the leaves piles. After he's done jumping, Pete picks a bunch of red, golden, and orange leaves and stuffs it into his backpack. Pete Blackhawk is busking with all servers. He can't wait to show Mom. I love autumn, says Pete says. Wonderful, says Mom. You know, these would make great delicious for Thanksgiving. So Pete helps Mom fill a basket with all his meat and place a basket at the set table. It's beautiful, says Dad. Is what that my football? As well, just then, the door bell rings. The Thanksgiving guests are here. All the Pete's families and friends guitar around the dining room table. They tell stories and laugh at jokes while they eat. Everyone is having a great time. 
Pete, looking around the table, he smiled. He loved lots of things about autumn, but Pete knows what he loved most all year long. His family and friends.